Hi students, welcome back. So let's continue with the exception handling in Java programming language. So in the previous video, I explained about the checkered and unchecked exception. So before working on the examples, try to understand the hierarchy of exception classes. So what is that hierarchy of exception classes? So for suppose whatever the object is there, okay, the object is going to be throwable. Okay, it is a throwable. Okay, so then whenever it is a throwable, exception is raised. You have written a program. If any error is occurred, it is a throwable. So that an exception is occurred. So these except there are so many type of exceptions. So many type of exception. Okay, only sample, only sample uh, exception names I am writing here. Only uh, two to three exceptions I am writing. But so many thousands of exceptions are there in. Uh, java okay so here i am writing io exception if any input output error is occurred this io exception is going to be raised and interrupt exception interrupted exception if any third party uh, is going to entering into the data some interrupted exception is occurred sql exception sql exception is occurred whenever a uh, query related a uh, database related uh, errors are occurred then sql exception is raised and then runtime exception so runtime exception so under runtime exception there are so many exceptions these are all unchecked exceptions runtime exceptions or unchecked exceptions i already explained okay so index out of bound exception means it is exceeding the whatever suppose if you declared an array of uh, 10 size if it is uh, if you are trying to enter the data which is more than the size of 10 then index of uh, out of bound exception is occurred so that subclass should be the array index array index of bounds exception okay and another type is the illegal illegal arguments illegal argument exception so uh, what is uh, what is the subclass of this illegal argument exceptions means what type of exceptions we can say it is an illegal argument exception number format exceptions the subclass for this is the number format exception so number format exception is the subclass and this is a super class so illegal argument exception one type is a number format exception okay and next is the arithmetic exception arithmetic exception still so many of exceptions are there but i am trying to explain only a few here so that whatever you had written here try to understand it so that uh any any exception you have taken everything is uh, shown in the name itself everything can be uh, understand by reading the name itself only okay don't worry about it so this is what here object okay whatever whatever the object is created if it is the throwable exception is raised so the exceptions io exception interrupted exception sql exceptions so these are all exceptions are done by the uh, system implicitly Okay, means, uh, sorry, uh, it can be called it as an unchecked exceptions. These are all unchecked, checked, not unchecked, sorry, checked exceptions. I'm sorry, these are all the checked exceptions. Okay, the user has to be right the program for this. The user has to be right. Checked exceptions means the programmer has to explicitly write the code for this. IO exception, the programmer has to write the uh, information reader. What type of IO exception is occurring? What type of interrupt exception? Whatever type of SQL exception is occurring? These are the checked exceptions. Okay, still so many thousands of exceptions are there. Here I have written only the three. Okay, and it's coming to these these type of exception these types of exceptions are called as unchecked exceptions unchecked exceptions these exceptions are handled by the system implicitly i already said unchecked exceptions are handled by the system implicitly okay these also handled by programmer explicitly you can handle the uh, by programmer explicitly also number format exception arithmetic exception array index of bound exception these exceptions 
can also handle by the programmer explicitly. Even though implicitly system is doing, you can make it as explicitly. How? To display user friendly error message. Okay. Programmer explicitly writing code for this to display user friendly message. What I said, I already said. Okay. Suppose a number format exception. So you have written something like divided by zero. Okay. Divided by zero means it's an uh, exception raises, right? So a number format exception you can raise. So this divided by zero is not acceptable. Arithmetic exception. Okay. You can create uh, means uh, instead of uh, writing the numbers uh, divided by zero is also comes under the arithmetic exception. Okay, number format exception means uh, when it come uh, when these type of exception is occurred whenever whenever instead of uh, instead of numbers you are trying to enter the strings then number format exceptions is occurred in place of numbers. That is what I said. If you are trying to enter the phone number in the field, okay, so it displays a message, please enter the numbers, not the, uh, you are trying to enter the alphabets in place of the numbers field, okay. It is asking to enter only numbers, that is a number format exception. There you are writing, a programmer is writing a user friendly message, please enter numbers only. So that is a number format exceptions. Array out of bound exception means the size should be in 20 lines, 30 lines. That is array index out of, uh, index of bounds exception. So these are all comes under the unchecked exceptions. You all know that unchecked exceptions, even though you didn't write, the programmer is implicitly handed. But the user cannot understand what's happening here. So try to write a some friendly message so that the user can understand what's happening there like this. Please enter numbers only. Okay, the it is out of bound means uh, the line should uh, number should length of the line is only twenty uh, like that. So it should be some user friendly message that can be done by the programmer explicitly, even though in unchecked exception. So this is a hierarchy of exception handling. So in the next video, I'll explain about the program how to write the exception program, how these unchecked exceptions are handled by the programmer explicitly by displaying a friendly message and how these checked exceptions are handled by the programmer explicitly because these exceptions can't be run by the system implicitly. You need to write compulsory but here this also you can write explicitly but with friendly message to dedicate a friendly message. Thank you.